Hello, welcome to the lab of Physics 143 Physical Systems. Today you are going to explore circular motion and centripetal acceleration. You've just read a recent paper by Spider-Man in the International Journal of Superhero Sciences. The paper delves into circular motion and centripetal acceleration. You have found it interesting and you think you should know more in order to be up to date on the physical laws that can help you achieve your goals of saving the world from supervillains. You already know that in order for an object to maintain uniform circular motion, according to Newton's second law, there must be a force acting on the object to produce centripetal acceleration. You want to investigate the relationship between the force and the acceleration to verify Newton's second law. This is the equipment available for this lab. We have a bob hanging here that can make it rotate around this axle. To start, you have to make sure that the bob is right on top of the indicator. If you hook a spring or a rubber band from the axle to the bob, like this, you can have the thread tilted with respect to the vertical. Then, by rotating the bob, if it rotates at the proper speed, you can have the thread vertical again, and then the only net force acting on the bob is the horizontal bob due to the spring. Remember that before you take any measurements, you have to make sure the apparatus is level and that it is adjusted so that the bob hangs directly over the indicator that I showed before, when the spring is not on. In this lab, you are going to test Newton's second law for rotational motion. So, if you focus on the radial axle, you have a centripetal acceleration and a centripetal force. I want you to think of a way to measure both and then verify if Newton's law holds. The apparatus can be var varied in two different ways by changing the spring and by changing the mass of the bob. You can put a jacket on it. Other equipment available would be a spring balance and a set of wakes with different masses and a pulley. You can think of the pulley as a way to introduce a horizontal force to the system by hanging a mass and having a thread pass by the pulley. Design an experiment using the equipment previously described that will allow you to verify Newton's second law for a uniform circular motion. As part of the design process, play with the equipment and find what works out and what doesn't. You need to develop a good experimental procedure before you take the data you wish to analyze. You may want to talk with other groups and find out what they are doing or planning to do. As part of the experimental design process, be sure to come up with a plan on how you will use the experimental data you obtain to verify Newton's second law for uniform circular motion. Don't be surprised if you decide to alter your experimental plan as part way through. That frequently happens in experimental work. Just make sure you note any changes in the experimental procedure. You should think in terms of making appropriate straight line graphs with the help of Excel with uncertainties taken into account. Once you have obtained your data, analyze it graphically by using Excel and don't forget to write down anything you do. May the science be with you.